Hello, this is Heisenberg. Hey there, this is G Forever. Yes, and we're here to review the latest Godzilla toys from Playmates. And here they are. Yeah, lots of Playmates. So let's look at these small ones. And these can be found at five and below. Yeah, just five bucks. Yes, and they're about three and a quarter inch tall. So pretty cool. And this big one here is a, you can find at Target uh, is an 11 inch figure. Oh, yeah. So yeah, this is a big surprise that they've got these uh, five below five dollar figures. Uh, we didn't know this was coming. Yeah. So, but we did announce it as soon as we found out. We announced it, and that, and at one point you could buy them on the website. So I also announced that on the channel. And uh, yeah, nice art, yeah. nice artwork definitely. on the back here. Yeah. So yeah, if you uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll definitely get all the notifications from Heisenberg. Oh yeah. So the uh, yeah yeah it's got yeah, the whole nice five, yeah, yellow there's... yellow sticker for five dollars. Yeah yeah nice very nostalgic there. Yep, but yeah you, de you definitely want to act fast because uh, I was at five and below yesterday, uh, and they're all gone. Yeah, so you might want to uh, try to grab them before they're off the shelves. Yeah 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 here's the numbers. Yeah we don't know. Uh, yeah here they are out of the box there. So it looks like you got to yeah. put the tail on. You do, yeah. So um, you have to kind of twist and turn, and it'll it'll get in there. I think um, you know, you don't probably don't want to bring out the hair dryer, but if you did, it'll probably make it a lot easier. Uh, but yeah, just a few turns and you can get Godzilla's tail on. Yeah, and for so the yeah. size, I think it looks really good. Yeah, surprisingly, um, I'm actually quite surprised for the the amount of detail for this uh, like the size of figure. Uh, and you have some um, decent articulation. You have some arms, the legs, and the tail. Uh, mouth doesn't move. Yeah, you have a pink mouth. <laughs> pink mouth and blue eyes. Blue eyes. And I like the black. And I, yeah, I like these black Godzillas that they're making. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very glossy black. Uh, and the uh, back fins are much softer. So, yep. Sadly, no translucent fins, Heisenberg. But uh, still, still pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. I like the I like the all black look. Mm -hmm. so yeah i'm happy with this guy yeah pretty yeah. nice oh yeah 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 very nice and bumpy look uh yeah very good good very good look for godzilla here definitely and, yeah okay then they got the uh, copyright they, they've got the, you know they've got yeah. that pretty well hidden yeah bottom of the tail yep 2022 playmates yeah, so no head out. or mouth articulation but the arms move so and you can move the legs and the tail of course Oh, yeah, cool. Oh, here's Kong. Here's Kong. I'm actually very impressed with Kong. I think they did a really great job with his face. Um, you know, even with this uh, really small figure, they captured a lot of detail. They even have the scar, um, free slashes on his body. And yeah, I think uh, he stands on his own, which was pretty surprising. I thought like, you know, these mini figures may topple over, uh, but he's pretty, pretty solid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looks very good. Yep. Yeah, 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 very good and very detailed. Now, okay, there's there, the copyright. <laughs> copyright on his uh, bottom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, and his foot too. But uh, overall, uh, the good job. You got the fur. I mean, there's that plastic line, but that seam, but it's fine. It's a, you know, it's a really inexpensive figure. Uh, but my my uh, biggest thing I like is the articulation because uh, not only do you can move his arms up and down, but his head can uh, swivel, which is uh, a very neat feature. Okay, yeah, I think we'll get to, yeah, the, here comes, see that here comes minute, there, right? there it is, there's the swivel. Yep. Oh, yeah, nicely done. Yeah, yeah I, I like this swivel because, um, you know, rather than like left to right, um, you know, it's kind of at an angle. Looks kind of nice. You can do uh, good good poses here. Here's Mecha Godzilla out of the box. So, uh, yep, you have to put the tail on as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, very good looking there. Let's see yeah, if you can get it here. little twist here and get the tail on. So let's get yeah, a little tighter. Look at that. Yeah. But yeah, Mechagodzilla. So how much articulation on this guy? So it's just, just like... arms up and down. No, no hand articulation, sadly. But for this for this size, I didn't expect too much. Um, I was hoping it'll maybe like replicate the six inch, but not it, it doesn't. So so yeah, it looks like it's the shoulders, yeah, shoulders and le and hips there, the hips. legs. And then, yeah. and then as we saw the tail that you attached. Tail. Yep. Spin around. Yep. So you got the really bright red eyes, which is great. Um, and then the uh, there's a lot of red paint on the back fins, which is nice. 
Uh, sadly, no red uh, paint um, on the body, uh, but a lot of Mecha Godzilla figures uh, sadly don't, don't have that either. Copyright information is a little bit um, yeah, in a the way big. on a little big, but I guess you know he's a small figure, so yeah, you can always look fine. at the other side. Exactly. Side of them, and yeah, you can yeah use the arm to try to hide it. Hide it, yeah. But yeah, pretty good detail for this small figure, I'd say. Uh, what do you think, Eisenberg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very happy with these. They said five bucks. Uh, you know, five bucks. Very well detailed, and they've five got and some below. articulation. A, yes, definitely a surprise, and uh, hopefully there'll be more because I know the uh, surreal uh, Godzilla figures were there briefly, and sadly I passed yep. on them and sort of regret. Uh -oh. But yeah, you can recreate the scenes from the movie of these yeah, mini figures. The yeah, yeah, the fight's yeah. broken out. Uh oh. Well, uh -oh. Godzilla's here. Uh <laughs> punching and kicking. So yeah, yeah pretty yeah, fun yeah. for these little little uh, small figures. And I think you know they can be used as like party gifts too for those uh Godzilla birthday parties. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They pose, yeah, yeah. It's a nice, very nice set. Yeah, nice set I, I think really great. Yeah, I think only I wish there was a more red on the Mecha Godzilla's tail, but that's fine. Oh, yeah, here's some All comparison. Right. So yeah. who's on the left here? So that's the HGD plus um, from like the Gashapons in Japan. Yeah, so Bandai. Yeah, Bandai. So similar scale, um, but Playmates is actually bigger. So and here's yep, the Kong. Yep. And again, Playmates are much easier to get. Yes. Yep. So Even though these are about five hundred yen, roughly five dollars in Japan. Uh, but you have to take into consideration that they're at random, and also um, you have to pay for shipping. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Uh, Japan, at yeah. the end, it's uh, the playmates may be a, a better bargain for the size and the money. But this yeah, Mecha Godzilla is really impressive. I like the the uh, metallic paint they chose and yes. the red paint on the tips. Uh, I think this one is actually. Uh, a winner even though he's smaller than the playmates i really like this one it's a pretty cool pose too yeah i do wish the playmates uh Mecha godzilla's had more of a metallic uh, mm, uh paint there agreed. but i assume that sort of but i assume that's saves money it Sa yeah. saves money just to uh you know have them be kind of like you know the, that kind of gray yep and here's the six inch figures uh, so we can have kind of an idea of the sizes so you, earlier we just saw the six inch uh, Godzilla with the heat ray and here's the six inch Kong with battle axe with the uh, the five dollar Kong here's the Mecha Godzilla you can see it's the same you know very similar but just a much smaller one we'll do a high five right there oh very fun All right and then and, here's uh, oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. these earlier, are the, these are yeah. like the really tight small figures from playmates Yes, that were so and, hard, so elusive for so long, and then they finally, yeah, uh, they, 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 those were a target that yep. you could order or order yeah. finally. Yeah, we first first found them in China on Taobao, and then finally they made it over to Target. They're much smaller than these three inch figures. Okay, now we're on to Godzilla Ultima from Godzilla Singular Point. Yay. This was a nice surprise, um, seeing uh, another classic. Uh, so I take it you got this from Target, and it costs yep. about thirteen dollars. Correct. Uh, yeah, actually, so... my friend found this at a Target. I've been searching for this one for a few months and I couldn't find it. And then he found it at his Target. It's like I told him, please grab it for me. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks so like, he, it. Yeah, it looks like he's got a pretty day. long tail there. He does. And I like how it's kind of curved, like a kind of like an S shape. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it gives it a nice, nice look here. And uh, yeah, decent paint job, I'd say, for the price. Um, you know, there's red on the back fins, which is really cool for a Godzilla Ultima. Yeah, this um, is in the six inch scale, if we didn't make yes, that clear. Six inch scale. But yeah, I really like the, yeah, I like these spikes on it and uh, yeah. glad that they included red on the spikes. And even the mouth, there's red in the mouth. I think the teeth, um, you know, a little rounded off on the teeth and the claws, but um, overall, it's at least it's painted, right? So. Um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. It looks a little cartoony, but again, he's based. He is based on a cartoon. <laughs> yep, that's uh, true. Oh yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah. I like the shape of the tail there. Yes, agreed. Yeah, that's that's one of my things I like on this Ultima here with the the S shaped tail, and uh, yeah, decent detailing. Um, everything's a little uh, softened. I feel like uh, I guess muddied, uh, but I guess that's just to uh, you know for the. Uh, the play value so it doesn't get too dangerous for kids yep yep 
yeah yeah but here's right. the inside of the mouth there's some red the teeth are also uh, painted yeah and we have uh, yeah the neck turns arms yeah move. arms move legs move so, so legs. good play value his arms are a little straight kind of uh you can do like a, a mafra prayer or <laughs> or something but um yeah, yeah. big feet yep and there's, there's the copyright, the copyright. yeah well hidden underneath the tail Looks like they're located in Hong Kong. So that's pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, Playmates is a Hong Kong company. Yeah. 100 yeah. Canton Road, Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. Got big making uh, the turtle toys. Ooh. Okay, so who's on the right? That's the Bandai 6-inch movie monster series Godzilla Ultima, also from Singular Point. And we can see the differences here. Uh, the Playmates has more, like, more of a pose, whereas... Um, the Bandai is a little more static. You can see the details are deeper on the Bandai, but definitely the Bandai is lacking the paint, uh, which has been sadly the case for all the recent Bandai Godzilla figures. Yeah, the Bandai it looks almost like, like looks like a black and white version. There's like looks yeah. like there's no color on it. Silver, them. yeah, it's just silver and white, uh, and that's pretty much it. It's so sad because like it's a decent sculpt, and I really wish there's some red. Um, I mean, the Playmates has red. I don't know why Bandai can't. Um, and the tail here, I really like the Playmates tail a lot more than the um, uh, than uh, than the Bandai, which is just a straight tail. All right, here's the SH Monster Arch uh, Godzilla Ultima. So uh, hopefully we'll get to review this uh, in the future. There's been a lot of figures uh, this year, but um, yeah, first up, you know, the um, SH Monster Arch is definitely more more detail and uh, I guess more paint as well. But you're also yeah, bigger, it's a lot more but... money. Oh yeah, yeah, it costs a lot more. <laughs> yeah, it's like around probably somewhere on the order of ten times as much. Yep, and the tail oh. is much longer. All oh, right, yeah. check out this one. Yeah, this is eleven inches tall, uh, for sale at Target for twenty bucks. Yes, Godzilla nineteen fifty four from the Toho series. So yeah, really, another... really surprised to see this one. I did not expect an eleven inch uh, classic Godzilla figure to be released. Yeah, so, so really you cool. Put the tail on him too. Yep, you do. Yep. Yeah, I did not have time to take this one out of the box yet, but uh, we will have some comparisons with um, an X Plus figure and also a Bandai figure coming right up. So yeah. it looks like the head moves, the arm moves, the legs move, and the uh, tail also moves. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then the, uh, we're going to see the X Plus. Here's the X yep, Plus. Here's the X Plus. This is the, uh, mo the what's it called? The suit color version, uh, which and was then... released at the Godzilla store. Um, yeah, and so then we're about the to see a Bandai, the... yep, a six inch. The... There's yep. a six inch Bandai for size comparison. Yep, this is from the Bandai Creation or Bandai USA. Cool. Yeah, so we'll keep you up to date with any uh, Playmates Godzilla news. So please yeah. subscribe to the YouTube channel. Yeah, oh, absolutely. So this is Heisenberg and G Forever. Hoping you enjoyed the Playmates Mini Godzilla five dollar figures. The Godzilla Ultima 6-inch line and the big 11-inch Godzilla 1954.